So I'm going to talk today about mat matrices, geometry, and robots. This has the first part of this video has to do with rotation matrices, and the second part has to do with how to use those rotation matrices to find a robot's position and speed on the ground. So let's look a little bit of geometry. Let's take the line that goes from um, from one one to three one. Here it is, three one right there and 1 1 right here so there's this line that goes between the two right now uh, let let's have a rotation matrix right I'm gonna make a rotation matrix be this this is traditionally rotation matrix now I'm not going to discuss how we derive this matrix you can look that up but I'm gonna call this R for rotation and theta because it's the rotation matrix on an angle theta. Now, for example, if theta is 45 degrees, right, that in uh, radians, that is pi fourths right here, right, and that is the same as 0 0.785, we can multiply it by each of our points. So I will get the cosine of 45 degrees, the negative sine, sine, and cosine, and then the matrix, right? So I'm going to look at theta which is four, pi fourths, 45 degrees, or 0 0.785, and I'm going to get the cosine, the, the sine negative, the sine positive, and the cosine, and then 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, right? So this is what I'm doing right here. That's what I'm going to compute. And if I get these numbers, and I multiply them by, for example, my first point, which was 3, comma 1, right? 3 comma 1. I represent 3 comma 1 as 3 1 and then there's always a 1 underneath. Okay? So if I multiply these two matrices, I get this point. And this point, remember the one we will always have this 1 here. But this point, this is going to be x and this is going to be my new y. So my new point is at 1.41 comma 2.2. 2.82. <clears throat> so the point that was previously 3 comma 1 now became 1.41 and 2.82. Now, let's look at my other point if I do the same thing. Here's the same the same idea. Now I am multiplying though. I'm multiplying my point 1 1. This was my second point. And if I multiply by the same matrix, right, I get 0 here on my x, and I get 1.41 on my y, right? And this one uh, at the bottom is always there. So my new point is going to be 0, 1.414. So let's plot that point in our graph, these two points that we just got. So the first point was um, 0, comma 1.41 I mean the second point and then the first point was the first one I obtained was 1.41 comma 2.82 so here's the first point right 0 comma 1.4 and then here's the second point 1.4 right 1.4 right there comma 2.8 so almost 3 <clears throat> right there now when I look at the line remember the line that I had before before I had this line, right? And I have effectively, and this is theta was 45. So I have effectively rotated this line 45 degrees. So I went th from there to there to there, like it's rotating that way 45 degrees, okay? So if these two were to meet, this angle is 45. Right? So I rotated it 45. Now, why is it not, <clears throat> why isn't it here, for example, and instead it's over here? Well, because I'm rotating it around this point. Okay? So I'm rotating it around the origin, okay, the 0, 0 point. So if you think about it, then my line is moving like this the whole line that part is moving 45 degrees and this guy is also moving 45 degrees right so i'm rotating the line with respect to the origin 
Okay? That is what a rotation matrix does. Now, uh, in the next video, I'm going to tell you how to use that for uh, robots.